morning guys it's uh saturday morning today is joe's birthday happy birthday joe uh we'll be joining him in a couple hours i think it's around 9 9 30 right now something like that i should probably keep an eye on the time though I'm down at river trail by myself in the little backpack i got i got the uh atlas six by six and something else as i walk along <clears throat> uh i looked up a little bit more about the fms oh yeah i mean it's kind of cold out it's like minus six or five degrees celsius which i think is around 30 or high 20s for you guys in the old fahrenheit world but she's a bit chilly out this morning but yeah i got myself an rc athletes toucan so i'm gonna be just fine what was i going to talk about oh yeah i looked up more stuff on the atlas and it uh it's got true beadlock so i have added weight i got an old roll of solder i'd say about three mil thick and with three mil thick you can do five wounds of solder around the uh inner beadlock the ring so i got two rounds on each front tire and that's it and then i got one of those seven ounce sticky weights on top of the servo so that's all the mods i've done so far i just brought the one battery i can't see me using the whole thing but i'm almost to where i want to be just trying to think if there's anything else i need to tell you guys about the truck beadlock wheels which is really nice because that means you can change the rubber out the rubber is decent though well i'll find out here shortly if it's good in snow and rock Let's see what else there's something else beadlocks oh uh shock placement i'll show you that when i get the truck out all right let's see if i can get some light come on mr sun play nice if you can see there get the camera as close as i can the top of the shock there geez i don't know if you guys can see that but there's many many places to mount your shock if you're wondering what all that ambient noise is i'm right beside deerfoot trail here in calgary over bow river trail river trail east as i named it like 10 years ago or something but anyways <laughs> let's see what this thing can do all right good luck little guy Tons of power. Well, I'm on rock and ice, or rock and snow, so I guess it should feel powerful. Suspension looks great. Getting used to the throttle. Snow doesn't seem to bother too much. Scale trees, another story. That's it. And it's also nice, I just put that radio in my jacket pocket while I took a couple pictures for Instagram. A little jammy oh no problem kind of wedged in there and didn't have any torque issues clearly didn't pop a drive shaft or nothing so that's nice go little truck go could use a touch more wheel speed I think I heard the slipper. There it is. Oh, almost wiped it. It might still. <laughs> about all i'm going to take her for there so if you guys know the calgary area and you know this trail that i'm on <clears throat> you know that little section the bowl of rocks there and i drove through the, the little crevice and all the way up here and i didn't use uh i didn't have to kick it or anything once but i'm going to pick it up from here and maybe try an uphill i'm going to try an uphill just on the other side of this hill 
and maybe head out to Harvey's Passage and get a little bit of footage out there and take some pics while the sun's still out before more snow comes. Yeah, as you can see, I just placed the truck there. This is one of my favorite hill climbs to do with the one-to-ones. It's really a good test of a truck. Most of mine can make it in the first try, but with this snow, I don't know if this guy's gonna make it or not, but I gotta try. Ah. Excuse me. Come on. Get up there. Whoa, easy now. This could work out. That's a good little servo. Alright, I give up. This is a tough little spot. <clears throat> Again, some of my one-to-ones don't make it up this, so I'm not surprised it didn't. I bet you if it was dry, this thing would have a great chance it would probably make it. It's because six by sixes are awesome, but I'm sure the snow is killing it. Possibly some RC four-wheel drive tires and wheels are in, in my future. Because right now I need like frickin' 10 of them, because I want to put some on the Jeep too. <laughs> say enough about the servo but yeah definitely got to get tires I was wrong about the tires you can even see those shock holes right now <laughs> mr. Sun came out so oh slippery Jeez. I'm okay. <clears throat> so if I were to talk about the controls of this thing, and I kind of have to compare it to the SEX24 and the Kyosho, because those are what I own, and the Losi. But the Losi's 10 years old, so I don't really count its technology. I'm not making that. Maybe it'll go up. But uh, I don't like it in the throttle control sense doesn't seem to have a lot of low-end crawl like steadiness and then it could use a little more speed so I haven't needed to look into motor upgrades on any other micro that I've owned and that's like I think I've probably had 10 or 15 over the years but I've never upgraded a motor oh, I wanted to in the trucker but rookie wouldn't sell me his um, that's about all I can think of for now yeah tires are in the future Possibly a motor. I haven't researched the motor at all. Come on. Okay, my hands are freezing. I forgot my gloves. Or not forgot, I decided not to bring them. Didn't think it'd be this cold. So yeah, just in case you couldn't hear me earlier, I'm going to shout it now. I love this truck. <laughs> I didn't break anything. I was full throttle a lot. No drive shafts popped. Nothing happened like that. It's all good. Electronics seem to be okay in snow. Uh, yeah, the tires aren't great on snow and rock, but I don't expect any tire to be. To give you a good example is that uh, a lot of guys in Calgary here run Pitbull tires, which are great on like 90% of the terrain. Mud, dirt, rock grass hill climbs anything to do with summer they're awesome as soon as winter comes sorry man pit bulls just don't cut it in snow and ice and neither do these tires maybe they'll be great in the summer but i got rubber on their way i'll get rubber on the way i might look into a motor but i want to try it on some dry stuff to see how she performs a little more not today though because i'm getting cold and i got to go meet up with joe and medic see you guys later